Francois, and I'm from Hybrid Power Solutions. We're just going to do a quick unboxing video of the 4000 watt Backpack Energy, which is a replacement uh, to a gasoline or diesel generator. Uh, so here we have it outside the box. The box, when you get it here, you'll see uh, the serial number on it, as well as what kind of model uh, you've got, and if you've got any kind of solar charger add-on or alternator charge on, that'll be written down on there too. Um, so what you'll find in the box, is these packing peanuts. Um, these are all biodegradable and they dissolve water. So uh, if you have them outside, you can just spray down with a hose without the rain, wash it away. You're good as that. Um, for the manual, pretty standard stuff. It has all three models built into this one manual. So just look up what you've got. Uh, always give this a good read through. Um, it's got a lot of little pointers that you might not think about, uh, especially in kind of extreme cases. So anyways, check that out. So getting the unit out probably requires two people, uh, just based on the weight. It's uh, it's a tight fit in there, so make sure you use uh, two hands on each side and just grasp right underneath here and pull it out of the box. Uh, that'll be nice and easy for you. After that, you can use the handles, which just pop out on each side here. You've got two on the sides and one on the back here, as well as the main carrying handle or pull handle that allows you to basically lug this around like a, like a luggage. There's some uh, some two inch wheels here, and uh, you know for any for most applications, this is an easy roll. If not, we also do have a, a carrier system that adds ten inch wheels and a whole steel frame. If you're doing construction or railway or mining or anything like that, that might be a nice little add on. So here's just a, a quick close up of the controls here on the Badpack Energy. Uh, this one here is the extended range, so you're going to see a little little check mark right here on high performance. You can also get it in here with uh, cold weather, solar charging, and alternating charger capability. Uh, you got your model number, your data manufacturing. Uh, then right up here, you got your sleep and awake switch. So the uh, as mentioned, uh, you know when you're not using this, you want to make sure that you put it in sleep mode. It's good practice right at the done when you're done using it. You know right at the end of the shift or right at the end of of, of using it at your house, your cottage, or wherever it may be. Just always flick it right into sleep. So it's in sleep mode right now. We'll wake it up. Show you how it works here. So just put into wake first. Hit the power button. There you go, you'll see the gauge flip up right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it with the sun here right now, but it is showing red. Uh, when you do plug in the charger to charge it, it will go yellow. So that's where you charge it right here. Uh, you don't actually have to have this power button on uh, when you're charging. You'll see that when you plug it in, it'll just go straight yellow and turn on here. You do have to make sure that, that this is in awake mode um, or else it won't charge at all. It's basically your master switch or kill switch. And then here you'll see your two output plugs here. Uh, if you uh, if you have a, a model that has either a solar or alternator kit, you'll see you'll have an additional uh, plug series right here, and I'll go right in the middle. As I uh, mentioned, your your vents are right here, so right in the ridging, right up here. So you don't want to be spraying a hose up there, or a pressure washer, or anything like that. You also have the extender range sticker right on the top here that you may not be able to see, but that, that tells you that this is the system with the bigger battery. Uh, so there is a comparison video uh, that you can watch as well that shows the differences between all three of our uh, 4,000 watt models, as well as any accessories that go with it. For this, we're just gonna show you how it works. Pretty easy, as I said. Put it into a wake mode, hit the power button, and that's all you've got. There's no noise or anything like that that's gonna start. So all you need to do is grab your load. It's pretty common piece of equipment that is used with these is these big contractor LED lights. So just flip up the two, any of the two here, plugs that you've got available here. These are 20 amp T-style plugs. So you can put up to 20 amps uh, into this. Remember that you have 32 amps combined. So how you use that is up to you. Plug it right in here. And then you're good to turn on your lights. There you have it. So. A lot of people tell us, you know, we only have two plugs, that's may not be enough for our application, that's fine, you can put a power bar in here, no problem at all. All you have to do is respect the, uh, the plug rating as well as the 4,000 watts that you've got in there. So this unit is actually IP54 rated, all our units are IP54 rated, excuse me. So that means that you can keep these out, rain, shine, snow. Uh, it's, uh, we always do, you know, recommend it if you do have the ability to put it inside. It's always best store indoors, just like anything else, but you can be, uh, it is fully resistant to any kind of weather conditions. 
the only places that do have uh, any kind of potential for ingress is right in here. So up here on both of these sides are the vents. The vents do turn on when it's either hot outside, when you're charging, or when you're on have a heavy load on these. You will hear a small fan, kind of like a loud computer fan turn on. Uh, this is the only place that any kind of uh, dust or uh, you know water could get up, so just be aware of that. You will get a little bit less performance in cold weather, that's just like with any battery system. So at minus 10, minus 20 degrees Celsius, um, you're going to be looking at probably a 20% reduction in runtime on anything you plug in there. That's just the nature of battery chemistry at this point. Uh, anything else? Yeah, the um, it won't charge the space or these, these systems won't charge below minus five degrees Celsius unless you do get the cold weather package. Uh, that's just based on the chemistry. So uh, you know if you are going to look into charges in a garage that may not be heated, you know it's going to be less than minus five degrees Celsius, so below about twenty eight degrees Fahrenheit. Please go ahead and order this with the cold weather package. I'll allow you to ch charge at any temperature. Basically, what it does is. The minute you, you plug in your charger, it'll automatically turn on a warming system, get the battery nice and hot, and then start charging. So that's a good feature. I don't think it's very expensive. So uh, if you're going to use cold environments, go for that. Other than that, it, it's pretty much maintenance free. Don't, uh, you know, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to service, uh, nothing to change on it. And, uh, you know, the, we, there are also filters. So if you're doing concrete cutting, that's the time I recommend the additional filters. The additional filters, all they do is slide up these vent holes here. So right here in the ridging is where you get your vent holes, okay, you've got air circulation. And what you'll hear is when these are under load for a certain amount of time or while they're charging, you will hear a fan come on. It's, it's pretty quiet, uh, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a loud computer fan. So, but then you'll, you'll notice that that's just keeping the air circulating and cooling what's on the inside. So if you are doing concrete cutting, which is obviously really corrosive and very dusty environments, there are filters that come with this uh, or that you can order and they just slot up there. When you're done concrete cutting, you just pull it out, wash it off, and you're, you dry it out and then you're good to go. So rain, snow, sh whatever, sunshine, it's all good. Uh, you know, it's just like anything. If you do store inside, it will keep for longer. That's pretty much, uh, you know, the only thing that we, we recommend is if you do have that availability, you know, obviously protect it, go for it. Uh, if not, yeah, you can keep it outside. Shutting down is very easy. Press the power button, put it into sleep mode, lock it out, and you're good to go. Uh, these batteries are completely sealed lithium batteries, so you do not need to worry about any kind of uh, hydrogen venting or anything like that or replacement of cells. They're good for about 3,000 cycles. So 3,000 cycles, what is a cycle? A cycle is one charge and one discharge. So you've got about 3,000 of those to play with. After that, you'll have about 80% of your original energy remaining. So that means that the pack is not completely unusable. It just means that you won't have the same runtime as you used to. So people tend to go, you know, all the way down to 50, 60, 70%, depending on what application. At the end of their life, we take them back. So we will recycle these, um, or we'll actually reuse them if, if possible, just in our own facility to, to, to power all the lights. Um, so yeah, please just get a hold of us when you're when you're done with the, with these, and we will recycle them for you. And you know, that's that's pretty much it on this system. We will have other videos that will uh, go over the differences in each pack, as well as any other features, um, and as well as how to hook it up to solar uh, uh, alternators and uh, wind power. So stay tuned for that.